wasn't expecting to make a video like this. I'm a little sad right now because I had to make a really hard decision and I'm carrying it out now. Um, our sweet dear puppy is going to be too big for our house and our backyard which is not fenced in and um, we made the decision to return her back to the breeder where we got her. She's a purebred dog and uh, that woman is going to just take care of her for us. I don't know if we will be able to fence in the yard or get some other property that has a fenced in yard. Uh, but for now, Opal is going back to her roots. Um, and uh, it's a little sad for us. We have loved her a lot and probably always will. We got her to be a companion to our other dog who passed a few months ago. Thought that dog would live a little longer too. Um, so we're going to be dogless with a few cats for a little while. Uh, it's made me to believe or helped me to believe that part of releasing clutter in our lives is knowing when certain things are just not a good match. And while we love Opal and hope we can be with her again, we recognize that this is not a good match for our family. And are making a wise but difficult decision to um, put her in a place where she is going to be even better off than, than with her loving family. I have some video of her and um, me in, in uh, a local park that has a river. So I will be posting a little bit of the video that I took of that and some pictures and some good times uh, with Opal. But like I said, we need to do this and it's really best for the dog. It's also best for our family at this time. And um, just feeling a little melancholy. My kids are a little, well, one is a lot upset.
uh, returning her so you can see the the really nice place uh, and all the room that she will have. Does this look familiar, Opal? And the cute little way you twist your head when you're asking a question. that was really tough um, it's a beautiful place there are cows and horses and a pond and a really big kennel uh, and a lot of land for her to run around and play in and the owner said that she would not sell her um, so there might be a chance that we can get her back uh, when we did a fenced in yard um, or if it takes a while maybe we can get one of Opal's puppies anyway um, important to take action on hard choices. Uh, I think it tells who our true character is. And so every time we make hard decisions like this, we peel back one more layer um, to become real, authentic, and purposeful. So even though this has been kind of a sad one, I'm finding out that I'm someone who can do hard things. And I encourage you that those things that you have done that have been difficult to share them in the comments below so we can all strengthen and support each other. If you are one of those who likes clearing clutter and needs to release some out of your home or your life, tap the like button down below and hit the subscribe and ring the bell so that you can be notified the next time we do a video. I promise next time it'll be happy. By the way, if you know anyone who might benefit from this channel, uh, who you think might need to clean out clutter in their homes or their environments or even in their minds, um, then share this channel and we can clear out clutter together. I am hoping to
to be able to help a thousand people in the world clear clutter from their homes and to start living better and clearer, cleaner lives, myself included. I'm Jody, helping you to reveal your true self one layer at a time. See you later.